they came and destroyed all the houses. They came and destroyed all the building. Over 300 houses were being destroyed. As I'm telling you right now, more than 1,200 people are homeless when after the pandemic. These are the greatest thing, greatest crime that can happen to a, 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 a anybody in life. What kind of country are we living? When you came by the midnight, 2 a.m., and destroy people's properties. They will be claiming they want houses for all Nigerians. Is this how we can have houses where lands are being hijacked and given to the to the to the privileged ones from the unprivileged? This is injustice to one, and it's an injustice to all. My name is Adibari Murphy. This is what really happened on the 20th of August after the lockdown. The Egbe Yemi Task Force with a troop of uh, police, they came to this place and they give uh, the resident three days notice. And uh, we approached the court that for more demolition. Why? We approached the court and the court gave us injunctions against to restrain them for doing that. And they came after three days after. They came and destroyed all the houses. They came and destroyed all the buildings. Over 300 houses were being destroyed. As I'm telling you right now, more than 1,200 people are homeless when after the pandemic. These are the greatest thing, greatest crime that can happen to a, 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 anybody in life. Now, about acres of lands, they grab it and they begin to sell it again. That is against the constitutions. That is against the land you start on the May 1978. The land you start, they destroy everything. And they begin to sell the same land with, with, to another person to build the same house that they demolished from this place. These are the evils that the Lagos State government has committed. And I believe definitely the law of karma will definitely catch them. And my prayer is this the Lagos State, the Lagos State uh, High Court has given us injunction to restrain them from this place and see yet lagos state has never abide by the law that is my painful truth what kind of country are we living when you came by the midnight 2 a.m and destroy people's properties including my gas plant that i bring the foreign investors about one, more than 200 people are jobless because of the reckless decisions that is what exactly happened my brother they have never made any arrangement for that. But we, as a son of the soil of this land, and other stakeholders, we are just advising people, those who want to go and deal with them to buy these lands, they will just want to waste their money. Because it may be 10 years, it may be 5 years, I believe justice must be taking place. That's why this place, they have never made any arrangement for that. And we don't want any arrangement. What we need, our prayer is that they should return the land back to the owner. The same thing that has happened to Lagos State and Federal Government. I'm telling you in years back, concerning Oliko, the same Lagos State Government that charged people to the court, that they should return the charged Federal Government to the court, that they should return the, 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 the land to the, the customary owner of the land, according to the constitutions. According to the land you said, in 1978, May 29. You understand? This is what we need. Our prayer is this. They should the should call these people. Should go away from this land that they grab. They stole. They grab it. They have never made any arrangement. Thank you. Uh, in, 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 in some meters away from this place, we have eight acres of lands that have been built upon. They came in at about 2 a.m. on that faithful day to demolish all the houses that are situated on this particular project. And to my chagrin and, 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 and the indignation, the same land they claim belongs to somebody else is being hijacked and sold to other people. As I'm talking to you today, a plot of land here is 12 million naira, which the same state government is selling to other people. I, I, I begin to wonder. 
If they are selling to other people, can they approach the original owners who have already been there to come and pay a kind of ratification and let them own the land? They will be claiming they want houses for all Nigerians. Is this how we can have houses where lands are being hijacked and given to the, to the, to the privileged ones from the unprivileged? This is injustice to one and it's an injustice to all. So Olu has not done well in this particular act. From the information we gathered, on this particular spot I'm standing, there is a gigantic building, a two-story building. It was brought down and it's being used. You can see the heat. It's being used to fill the water. The mold that brought them in was the one occupying the other end. You can see a particular building still standing, a bungalow still standing. That bungalow was not brought down because it was an, an insider. It's the person that brought them into this matter. So if you go right there now, the press will go there, you go and see that building standing. The, my question is, why is this building still standing while others were being demolished? Gigantic building were brought down. Over 150 houses were demolished in Alaji Jubril uh, uh, estate there. So why is that building standing? The gas plant of over 200 million uh, was brought down. German brought investment from Asia to come and start a gas plant here. He has to remove all those things overnight because the investment has been, lie, uh, been made to, to lie in waste. So what are we saying? This is an injustice. The government is not helping matters. They are not helping the masses. They are not helping us in any form. And they claim to be a democrat. In my own view, they are, not demo they are, they are no democrats because they have sold their, their souls to the devil. And the devil now controls them. We are not going to stop here. We will fight it. We will, we will, we will, we will meet them, power for power, law for law. We will meet them at the law court. And I believe justice will take its place. They cannot take this place and go away with it without facing any consequence. And I want to send a note of warning. Those people that are coming here to invest, they should stop the investment now because they will never reap the, 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 the fruit of this labor because it was sold on the wrong soil. So that is our stand.